Welcome back guys. I'm very excited to start adding a video game news section to my YouTube channel. And what best to start it off with than Live Letter 68. 10 years in the past and what we can look forward to 10 years in the future. I'm very excited and this is going to be mainly a summary and my impressions of the Live Letter and everything that was discussed. <laughs> so, for the second part of this presentation, as you see, it is entitled Newfound Futures. So, I would like to discuss what we are intending to do. One of the biggest pieces of news, or I guess the biggest debate, that's come out of the live letter is whether or not you can play an MMO solo. And let me tell you, Yoshi P says you can. Yoshi P wants you to have fun alone or with friends. So, there are going to be updates to the trust system. Trust compatibility for all main scenario dungeons and four player trials will be added in patch 6.1 to 6.5. A Realm Reborn scenario duties will also be trust compatible and more improvements made on down the line. Some of those improvements will be that Cape Westwind is going to be removed, and Praetorium and Castrum Meridium will be four-man light party. Now, Yoshi P did mention that it's not going to be any NPC, but that you might see others that aren't necessarily part of the trust system that get to show up for the dungeon. There are actually multiple arguments with this. Some people are just upset that Cape Westwind is going to be gone because it's a lot of fun. You get in there and Hulk smash and see how quickly you can get through it. And others think that, well, if you're playing an MMO, you should participate in group content because if you don't, you might be a bit more nervous if you decide to do normal or savage with a group and, and start learning to raid. Plus, with World of Warcraft, one of the things that people eventually got tired of was that they didn't need groups for anything, and so it didn't feel like a massively multiplayer online game. The argument for this for Final Fantasy XIV is that it's meant to be a Final Fantasy game first. And Yoshi P did mention that he feels like not everybody has the same social skills or etiquette as others and doesn't want them to feel pressured to have to do this group content. What do you guys think? The other major item that's going to be changed by the time we get to 7.0, and yes, Yoshi P did confirm that. He's going to work on this project as long as he can, and it's going to continue on for all of the people who thought that <laughs> Endwalker meant end of Final Fantasy XIV. Anyway, the graphics are going to be a huge step up. They're working on shading, they're working on textures, they're working on shadows, they're working on metallics. Let's look at a couple of these slides and see what we think. Let's just say I'll need a PC upgrade. And even though Yoshi P assured us that he is not dropping PS4 support yet for Final Fantasy XIV, I'm sure that's going to be coming in the future, especially with this graphic update. Of course, there are other things to look forward to, like the MSQ, which will be 6.1 through 6.5, Ultimates, Unreal, Island Expeditions, the new PvP, and they're also opening the free trial play back up on the 22nd as well. Finally, after all of the server stuff is done, and we will also have our official live letter that will have a walkthrough of 6.1, including all of the in-depth things that we can expect. That will be on March 4th and will be airing around 3 a.m. PST. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let me know what you thought of this video, and if you would like me to go over the lore Q&A, just comment below. Don't forget to check out the links as well if you'd like to support me. Thanks, guys. I will see you all at the next one.